was difficult for me to find a job. On my desperation, I started selling food. It's like I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I don't know what to do. That was Maria Baez on our newscast at 10 o'clock last night, talking about the struggle that she, her son, and their dogs faced after the pandemic, forcing them to live in their SUV. You know, that story touched a lot of people in our community, led to an outpouring of support, really, and now the family has a temporary place to stay. Channel 2's Keith Garvin brought you this story first at 10 o'clock last night. He's joining us live in Northwest Harris County now, where he spoke with the family again tonight. Hi, Keith. Hey there, Dominique, Chris. Yeah, you know, this story all started on Friday night when I was approached by Maria. They were in a Walmart parking lot looking for a place for shelter, a safe place to stay. Well, tonight we're in a parking lot outside of a hotel where that family has found temporary shelter. We were so glad about that. And this is a story about their perseverance and about the heart of a community. It's just a wonderful feeling. What a difference a day makes. This time last night, Maria Baez and her son Alexander were preparing to spend the night in their SUV in a Walmart parking lot as they had for the better part of the past seven months. But tonight, after we aired their story Monday, the outpouring of support has led them to shelter at an extended stay hotel. Them and their dogs, Sugar and Bobby. Incredible to realize how big is the heart of many people and how, how good intentions they have for other people not keep suffering. After seeing our story, viewers, business owners and others started emailing and calling immediately with offers of help. The Harris County Sheriff's Office got involved Tuesday and with the help of Lakewood United Methodist Church found a temporary room for Maria's family. Alex says having a safe, quiet place to log in for online learning is helpful. More peaceful, uh, but I mean, different background, you know. This is better. I had more confident, you know, more confident. Maria says the dogs also noticed the change. No. Right now, you can see their faces, they're glad. They know something, something good just happened. Maria's task now is to find a job to provide permanent shelter for Alex, the dogs, and herself, and eventually save enough money to start a catering business. But tonight, they'll all rest a little easier knowing so many people have answered their cry for help. Right now, it's like a miracle. Like a miracle, yes. Yeah, indeed. You know, earlier tonight, I spoke to a woman who's being very instrumental in assisting Maria and her family. And she told me she had a conversation with Maria. And Maria told her that if it hadn't been for her son and her dogs, that there were many nights that she wishes that she could have had just fallen asleep and not awakened. So we are very glad for that son, for those dogs, and for the heart of Houston. Dominique, no Chris. doubt. Hey, Keith, before you go, we understand that another Houston businessman is now also helping the Baez family. That's correct. There's a GoFundMe account, and uh, Mr. Randy Hartley, uh, he's one of our Bill Spencer's Bills Brig Brigade members, uh, and he donated $2,000 to that GoFundMe account, and he said if a uh, 1000 or more was raised from our story, then he would donate another 1000 Looks like he's going to do that because at last check, that GoFundMe account had gotten up to $11,000. So for folks who still want to help Maria and her family, they can go find that GoFundMe link on our website attached to this story. Oh, that is such great mm -hmm. news, Keith. Thank you for the update.